Hi guys, it's Eve. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, fix the nose ring. How are we all? Are we good? Are we doing good? Are we good? Okay, it's been a rough one for me, but who cares? Let's get on with the video and don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. I should probably come up with like a song or a jingle for that. Let me put a pin in that and get back to you. So... As you notice today, if you are on my new Instagram profile, I have two Instagrams. I have a personal one, which is a private account, which a lot of you are on, but um, I now have a professional public account, and that account is Eve Rogers Australia. In two days, I've already got like over 100 followers, so that's amazing um, already, and I've only put up, I don't know, eight posts. And I tend to post on there my makeup look for the day and tag all the companies and the products I've used. Um, that's what I've done so far. But I'm also going to put up other things like um, inspirational quotes, stuff about mental health and chronic pain that relate to us, you know, invisible illnesses, those sorts of things will go up there. I might do a live video on there. I do reels on there. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of content on there that's going to relate to this channel as well as my daily life. So like, for example, my dog, Vader, he's on there. So Vader's on there as well. Um, you'll see like things that are in my world and in my life. It's not just going to be beauty and makeup and that's it. No, it's going to be a multitude of things. So far, it's only beauty and makeup because that's all. I've only just started it, guys, so that's all I've managed to upload. Um, I will get onto that, but when you're managing a page, a channel, a profile, <laughs> and all these accounts and stuff, it, it gets kind of big, so you have to compartmentalize everything, plus try and live your life, you know? You can't, can't be consumed by the social media, so I'm trying to not let it consume me. Anyway, enough of that. Let's jump into the video. So, I got a couple of goodies that I'm going to try out, and I thought this would appeal to quite a few people. I have been putting up, you know, more affordable makeup and more affordable dupes and things like that. I've been reviewing some mascaras for you, and, like, seriously, I've got that full, and this, plus another two I got today of mascaras to review for you. I have reviewed the Maybelline Sen Lash Sensational Mascara. It's similar. It kind of is a bit similar to the Benefit Roller Lash and a Benefit They're Real. It's not quite there, but it's it's an okay dupe, I would say. Um, however, it's not quite the quality that I get out of the Benefit products. I also have a L'Oreal mascara that has been in my backups, but I just haven't opened it and used it. I'm going to, but I'm at a bit of a dilemma because I, when I found out L'Oreal aren't cruelty free, this is one of my favorite mascaras. So I'm going to check if it's tested on animals. I'm at an ethical and moral dilemma because it is an amazing mascara. It's a duo. It has a primer and mascara, and I, I just don't know. So that's why I've bought two other ones. Now, they were having a sale in Woolies, and they're having um, half price nearly off everything makeup related except for W7 at Chemist Warehouse. So Revlon, Rimmel, Maybelline, L'Oreal, most of it's half price. So if you want to get some sale stuff, and also, always keep an eye out on Priceline, their sales section. Always keep an eye on there. Jump onto the website. Just go onto the, you know, make sure you've got an account. If you've got one of their sister clubs or a Priceline card, you know, do that. Have a look. And sometimes things become really, the things that are already cheap become cheaper. Priceline is a great place to also get skincare, um, hair care, brushes like makeup brushes and makeup tools as well as makeup in general so yes this is a makeup video get over it if you don't like it leave okay you know i do differing content it's not always beauty and makeup 
I do other things as well, but this one is makeup related. Sorry if you're not happy with it, I really don't care. So we'll begin. I can't remember how much this was, but I had to keep the sticker on because it's all in Korean, but it does say 01 Dark Brown. It is the Etude House, uh, they call it Drawing Eye Brown because they obviously um, have a bit of a barrier with English. But what it is, it is this tip, which I love, I'm really into for brow pencils. And it has a spoolie as well. Pretty good spoolie. Like it's nice and soft. It's not harsh. Now, I used the Rimmel one when I did my full face of drugstore makeup. And that was really waxy. Like really waxy. And if you put a brow gel over that, it actually takes the pigment off. So if I use a clear brow gel over the Rimmel eye micro eye pencil, it actually comes off. So I'm, that was my first ever brow, proper brow retractable pencil. I do have a cheap drugstore actual pencil that you sharpen, but it doesn't have a spoolie. It has one of those crappy brushes on the lid, so it really sucks. Um, I do like that pencil though. It's not bad. I picked it up like... I don't know some cheap chemist thing I'll, I'll have to get it for you and show you but this one I use today in my brows a little bit of a harder product compared to the benefit um, goof proof brow and the pretty vulgar um, brow pencil that are both the same shape as this they go on a little bit smoother this one on smooth but not as it's not as soft and creamy and emollient but it was only like a couple of dollars from iHerb and I've been loving iHerb. I downloaded the app, I have gotten skincare, my new retinol serum, my Cosrx stuff. Cosrx do amazing skincare and it's affordable too and I got an affordable retinol vitamin C niacinamide all together serum so I got bang for my buck. And um, iHerb has got some great things like even makeup erasers. They sell even Laura Mercier on there, Estee Lauder. You know, they sell big brands and small brands. And if you're into K-beauty or Korean beauty, which is some fantastic skincare, check them out. They do Laneige, which is sold at Sephora. They do it cheaper on iHerb than they do at Sephora. So... You know, a little bit of a hack there. So if you like those sorts of products, check out iHerb and just type in what you're looking for and a whole heap of brands will come up or type in the search bar um, the specific brand and see if they stock it. That's what I do because they only stock so much of each certain brand. A lot of time you'll find things that are out of stock because people jump on them because the prices are so good. But this little ripper is good. I haven't shown you the skincare. I should have brought that out too, but I got the Cosrx AHA BHA spray on toner. I accidentally bought two um, in two separate orders that arrived. I didn't realize. I got two makeup erasers. They're not as big as the ones from Wish and AliExpress and Vova and all that. I don't know. I don't think I got them from Vova. Um, but yeah, they're not as long as those ones, but they were black or pink, and I ordered the two black ones, and they seem fine for the price. Um, I haven't used them yet, but they seem soft and everything. Um, I also get my Cody's Airspun Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This stuff, look at the size of this thing. Like, I'll compare it to... Oh, God, my drawer stuck. Oh, hang on. Okay, after a big freaking fight with my drawer. I got it out because it's at the back. Now, this is a standard loose translucent setting powder. And remember, there's all this space at the top. This doesn't have a lot of space at the top. Like this comes with a little poof, but like it's pretty shallow. So you get all that product, right? This one doesn't come with a poof. But look how it's not as shallow and you don't get as much product. How much do you get in here? 29 grams, 65 grams, 50 something, like $59. A, 
I don't know, 10 bucks or something from my herb. It's the Cody's Air Spun Translucent Loose Setting Powder. It has a very strong fragrance. If you are sensitive to fragrances, you are going to hate this. The fragrance I actually like. Some people really hate it. Some people love it. It really all depends on your personal preference, but I personally love it. So I actually don't mind it for a translucent loose setting powder. If you are on a budget, that is the best one to buy if you're okay with fragrance. If you are on a budget, you've got maybe teenagers getting into makeup and everything like that and they want a loose translucent setting powder, get that one. It is amazing and you get 65 grams. You get so much product. It comes with a poof. You can use the brush or use the poof. The poof can get a bit scraggly, you know, after a while and you might want to chuck it out. And, you know, bacteria and stuff where with brushes you wash them. I personally have kept the poof because I haven't really used it. But, um, yeah, if I use it, I'll probably throw it out just to not keep bacteria in there. Just to, so you don't get breakouts and stuff on your face. Little tip there. Like I keep my pretty vulgar one separate from being in the actual pot so it's not there um so yeah that translucent loose setting powder is great anyway the woolies had a discount rack as well as all their makeup was on sale now i already had this and did this in the full face of drugstore makeup but it wasn't my shade they only had a few shades at woolies they have them all at chemist warehouse they've got like 40 something it's like 40 shades or something there i'm hoping this light beige one which is double one eight light beige it is a little bit darker than it's about it's meant to be two shades nearly three shades up from the porcelain i had if you are really fair and light they go really light so at woolies not much of a diverse range, more the fair, light, medium skin tones. But at Chemist Warehouse, they have most of them. And I wore this and a little bit of transfer when my oils came through. But out of the drugstore ones, it's one of my favourites, I must say. I am wanting to try, which one was it? The new Superstay 30 hour because it used to be 24 hour and everyone loved that and it was a cult classic and a favorite holy grail for some people, especially the oily skin people. This comes in a matte and dewy formula, so for oily or for dry skin, um, it comes, this is for oily combination. The uh, dewy one is for normal dry, unless, you know, you want a matte finish, you know, you want or you want to mix the two together and create your own little mixture go for it um so this was today the fit me matt and paulus $13.20 so when you think what foundation prices are $13.20 on sale i don't know what it is at chemist warehouse it might be a little bit cheaper i find chemist warehouse is a bit cheaper than woolies um when it comes to like the makeup range so not bad. I've got that. Then I know I've been using the Benefit Gimme Brow and I've only just recently got into the brow colored gels. I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear one. Love it. It's a favorite. Loving the Gimme Brow by Benefit. And that's, I've got the full size in a kit, but I started off with the little mini. And I started off with the mini because I wanted to see if I liked it. I didn't want to spend the money for the full or the, the mega one you can get, or you can get it in a kit with the brow pencils as well from Sephora. I wanted to try it out, and I'd seen so many people in the beauty community love it. If you want a quick, filled-in, fluffy brow that will stay there, that stuff is amazing. I love it, and you can put it on after you've used a pencil, crayon, whatever you're putting on your eyebrow, or you can use it on its own. It's fabulous especially if you're in a rush especially if you're a parent and you don't have much time or you have a busy life and you need to be quick that stuff is awesome so i decided to get the emco beauty it's a bestseller apparently magic brows brush on fiber gel i don't know if 
the other one has fibers, but we'll see. Water resistant, long wearing and buildable. And it has the actual size. I got medium dark. So I figured that was my color. It says magic brows is essential for those with thin and sparse brows. This innovative brush on fiber gel gives the appearance of fuller, thicker, bolder brows in an instant. MK Beauty Magic Brows gives you an illusion of fuller, bolder brows in an instant. The quick drying gel formula adheres to brow hairs without flaking or fading throughout the day, while the tapered brush allows for precision blending and shaping, ensuring a natural finish. Instant brush on volume creates definition, tames and tints, long lasting water resistant formula, and fills in sparse brows in a flash. So it's available in three shades only. Blonde, medium brown, and medium dark. And as I said, I got medium dark because I am quite dark. So this is the product here. That's the actual size. It says actual size of the little spoolie brush that you get. And you can see, you know, and my brows, you know, they're filled in today, but they're not the fluffiest. So I thought I'd compare this, which was... MK $8.40 on special at Woolies. I thought try this against the Benefit Gimme Brow. If it's any better, well then we know. Then you know I've got cheap beauty sponges and expensive beauty sponges, and I love my AOA Shop MSA beauty sponges, like even the micro fiber one, which is like the Juno & Co sponges, which by the way, Juno & Co sponges, the microfiber ones you can get on iHerb, cheaper than you can at Mecca. And this is my dirty one and it's still a bit wet, so excuse me, but look how squishy. It's like a marshmallow. It's the, um, I don't know, the charity edition, you know, Paw Paw AOA beauty sponges from Shop Me Say. These you can get a six pack of as well, which I do. So I've got backups and I don't care. They're so cheap. It doesn't care if I only last me a short time. They're so cheap and they work and they're really good. Um, but I do really love my original beauty blender. I've also got a sponge from MCO Beauty and I've got a sponge from Morphe. I did have one from Natasha Denona, but I ended up um, selling it to a friend. So anyway, MK Beauty, this is a must-haves. It's a microfiber velvet sponge makeup blender. They had normal sponges, but I'm trying to get into the microfiber ones because apparently they don't absorb as much product. So, you know, I want to save money. I don't want to waste all my money in my sponge. I want it on my face. So velvet soft sponge delivers flawless results suitable for wet and dry formulas now i use all my sponges dampened i wet them give them a good squeeze out like six or eight times under the tap i put them in the towel as i'm drying my hands and i squeeze out the excess water it's a little tip i picked up it really gets out any excess water so that you have really just got it nice and damp it is not wet it's not soaking dry sponges for me I don't really use, sometimes I do when I'm contouring with a cream contour, I might go in with like a soft sponge like this and like get the bottom of it um, to not fade out the colour, but I generally don't use them dry. Um, it's a unique microfiber sponge that delivers flawless results with ease. Emco Beauty Microfiber Velvet Sponge is a game-changing makeup sponge that delivers flawless results for both wet and dry formulations. The velvet-like sponge features microfibers that capture formulations without soaking them up. What I was saying. The unique tapered design allows for precision blending to ensure an all-over application. Quick facts. Microfibers deliver flawless results, unique tapered design, suitable for all skin types, easy to clean, well, I'll see about that, and perfect alternative to a makeup brush. And it even has instruct directions and instructions on the back on how to clean your microfiber velvet sponge. So... It's doing it the way I do clean all my sponges anyway, which is under warm water. I use the Dezo, it's actually for sponges. It's a cleaning agent from Dezo. It's like $2.50 for a bottle about that big. 
I leave it on my windowsill and every time, well, nearly every time <laughs> I use my sponge, um, I go over, run warm water and I put that on there and it's like antibacterial. So it doesn't, um, leave all the germs and crap in my thing. I've also got the AOA, um, brush cleaner and sponge cleaner to try out as well. They're very cheap. So otherwise I use a very cheap shampoo like, um, I don't know, Fructus or whatever from the supermarket or from Aldi. A cheap shampoo with warm running water is good for sponges and your brushes. And if you have to do concealer and um, foundation brushes, a little bit of um, oil, like um, what oil do I use? Um, canola oil. Canola oil needs to be a canola oil, tiny, tiny bit of canola oil because oil breaks up foundation because foundation and concealer are oil based products. Water and shampoo don't necessarily break up all the oils. So in conjunction with the shampoo, I also use the oil, a little bit of oil, just a little bit, and then rub it back and forth on your hand or your sponge cleaning pad. Don't, for goodness sake, don't go ham with it. All right. Anyway, this is a sponge. I thought it was a cool little shape. I haven't used anything this shape. Thought we'd try it out. Now the sponge was $6 on special. Now that's not bad for a sponge. I quite like that. Next thing I got, which I only have, I think two or three foundations that actually have silicone or silicone derivatives like dimethicone or trimethicone or whatever in them but i i cannot for the life of me find a drugstore primer that is silicone free i can't find it it doesn't exist i cannot find one so i um found this it was on the sale rack it's the revlon photo ready Plime plus plus blah, blah, blah. say that when you're drunk Skin infused primer, matte finished infused with salicylic acid. And we know salicylic acid works to help with blemishes and oils and keep them under control. It's mattifying and pore reducing. Um, it also has artichoke extract as well as the salicylic acid, which is an AHA, which is actually an exfoliant. So also be careful when using this. It's a mattifying and pore reducing primer that improves the appearance of skin over time while creating a pristine canvas for makeup application. See a visible reduction in, in the appearance of pores in one week. Helps skin look younger and feel softer while eliminating unwanted shine. Infused with artichoke extract, salicylic acid and AHA AHAs. It does have dimethicone in it. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh ingredient in it. So dimethicone is a part of the silicone family. It also has some glycolic acids in there, some, you know, watermelon happening, artichoke. Um, we've got some lactic acid, lecithin, which is good. Fruit extracts are in here. It's actually got peptides in it as well, which is actually beneficial for your skin as anti-aging. Has a bit of alcohol, which is way down the list, so we're not too bad with that. Has silica, dimethicone, we already went there. It has ammonium in it. Um, what else does it have that I could... Uh, it has polysilicone as well, way down the list, but that's a derivative as well of silicone, so watch out for that. Um, it has some apple extract in it and has trimethanamine uh, as well and salicylic acid is actually the second to last ingredient so um this is the product and i paid 18 dollars i paid for this primer and that's on sale i can get a really good high-end primer the same size for a few dollars more and if that's what it is on sale i hate to think what it was full price and it lasts for 24 months and you do get the standard one floor ounce which is 30 mils but 18 dollars for a primer that is meant to be drugstore supermarket friendly on sale this is why sometimes i go i may as well get you know stuff from mecca and sephora anyway 
Another thing I've been meaning to use, I keep forgetting, but it is the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. This is the, not the waterproof one, because I don't want waterproof. It's the blackest black. It cost me, uh, where are you? Uh, $15 on special. And instant lash lift look with dramatic volume and length, double curve lifting brush that grabs lashes at the root and lifts. Fiber infused formula thickens and extends lashes with the wear that lasts all day, resists clumps, smears and flakes. Ophthalmologist tested, suitable for sensitive eyes and suitable for contact lenses, which was what I was interested in. I have been told this is an amazing mascara, just like a Braun did her top five favorite mascaras on her drugstore list. This was one of them, and I think this was her favorite. So this is what the packaging looks like. The wand is very much reminiscent of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, and the Big Ego one from Tarte. So that brush wand, you know, does, you know, look, you know, very familiar. So will it give me the volume and lift? We will find out. And then there was one not waterproof one left. I have been on a few beauty forums and they said, do not get the waterproof one of this. You will never get it off. Now this, a lot of people don't realize is a tubing mascara, like the Hourglass Caution Extreme one I did. It's a tubing mascara. The only way to take off a tubing mascara successfully without rubbing your eyes into infinity and beyond, causing wrinkles and tears in your skin and pulling out your lashes, which a lot of people have lost lashes taking this mascara off, not doing it correctly, warm water only, followed by an oil, um, I would use an oil infused uh, eye makeup remover as well, soak the pad, put it on your eye, let it soak there for 10 seconds and wipe away, okay, after you've done warm water to get any final remnants off because apparently this is a bugger to remove. It is the Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. This is the one that's gone crazy on TikTok, all over social media. Everyone's loving, everyone's hating on it. It is a 50-50 split on this. I thought I've got to try it. So this is a washable mascara mascara uh speak english eve introducing lash sensational sky high our first mascara made for full volume and authentic length custom flex brush grips and extends every lash formula with bamboo bamboo extract and fibers give an authentic impact no clumping smudging or flaking up to 24 hour wear allergy tested ophthalmology tested and suitable for contact flames wearers which is you know um me so this is the one that's been going bonkers online for a while. I thought I would try it out. I've got that many mascaras on the go that I've been trying out for you guys, hence why I often buy the minis. And if I like them, I'll buy the full one, but I buy the minis. Unfortunately, drugstore mascaras don't have the mini option. So I've been trying a few high-end ones for you to see if they're worth the money. So far, I have done, I think, five or six. So I thought I'd get some drugstore ones to try out, but I don't want to have too many mascaras on the go at once. I've got some that are Mecca brand and Sephora brand, which are a little bit cheaper, and they're actually about drugstore prices. But the Sky High, what was that? That was also $15 on sale. So, you know... Some of these prices, you're nearly paying what you would pay at Sephora or Mecca or online. Like, sometimes they're better formulas as well. But I heard these two were amazing. And I like my Maybelline Lash Sensational one. Uh, that one, you know, it's like more of an everyday mascara. I can't build it up to be, you know, luscious lashes. Like today, I'm... Um, wearing the Anastasia Beverly Hills one with um, my Marc Jacobs primer. It's this one. That's what I'm wearing today. I've got a full list of what I'm wearing on my Instagram, Eve Rogers Australia. If you want to see everything I'm wearing today, every single product that has touched my face is on there. So go ahead and check it out. Don't forget to subscribe and like before you leave. 
I will be trying these on, not all at once, obviously, but trying a couple on in some future videos. Comment down below, uh, what are your favourite, you know, drugstore items? Your favourite mascaras, primers, sponges, foundations? What do you like to use? Where's your holy grail? Do you prefer drugstore over the more expensive items or do you like a bit of both? Me, personally, I like a bit of both. I am not totally mid to high end nor am I budget or drugstore friendly only. I have a mixture in my collection, but over the years I have invested a bit more money in my makeup and I have been finding it better because mascaras for me are really hard to find that work for me in my lashes. My lashes clump so easily. They, they just do. I can never usually do a second coat and some of the higher end mascaras that I've bought or have been given to me, or I've gotten a gift set, or whatever, they have not clumped doing two coats, and I've been able to build them up. So sometimes spending a little bit extra sort of is, you know, a kind of you get what you pay for. Sometimes some of these prices I go, no way am I paying that much. But I've invested a little bit more lately and I've been kind of liking the results. But we'll put them to the test with these guys as well. So we'll find out. Okay. I hope you're having a good day or night wherever you are in the world. And I will speak to you soon through the YouTube interwebbies. And stay cool, stay cool, safe and I will be seeing you soon. Look after each other, take care and goodbye.